I'd love to hear your latest thoughts on sulforaphane. I know that, you know, here, gosh, what, it's been a couple of years now when you first started doing videos and posts about the benefits of sprouting broccoli seeds and this miracle compound called sulforaphane. And where are you now with all that? I'm still super excited about it. Sulforaphane is, um, it's something that is formed from a precursor called glucoraphanin, and glucoraphanin is found in a variety of what are called cruciferous vegetables, things like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, daikon, you know, watercress, all these things, cauliflower, these things are all from a cruciferous family of vegetables. So glucoraphanin is the precursor to it. When the plant tissue is, you know, crushed, chewed, torn apart, it activates an enzyme called myrosinase, which turns glucoraphanin into sulforaphane. Sulforaphane has about 70% bioavailability if you orally ingest it. The precursor, glucoraphanin, only has about 10% bioavailability to be converted into uh, sulforaphane. So there's been tons and tons of intervention trials where people are given either a broccoli sprout. Broccoli sprouts, by the way, have about up to 100, 100 times more of the precursor to sulforaphane called glucoraphanin than the mature broccoli pl- plant, which is kind of why I've talked a lot about broccoli sprouts because that's, that's, that's a I con. can't eat anymore, Rhonda. You had me <laughs> eating so many of them. I was eating like cups of those a day and they don't taste good. Right. And I'm like trying to add stuff to them. I just, I had to go to the supplements. Yeah. Well, so here's the thing, the supplements. So there's only, there's a couple of supplements that have been, you know, scientifically validated to really have what they say they have. Sulforaphane is not, is not a very stable molecule. It's very unstable and it's, it's difficult to get it, you know, in a supplement form. There's been two two supplements that are really, I would say, have been clinically validated and um, been, have been used in, in randomized controlled trials that have been peer you know peer reviewed and published. One is Avmacol, and Avmacol is um, by the way, I have no affiliation with any of these supplements uh, or supplement companies at all. You don't have any. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say you don't have any affiliation with any supplement. I don't, companies. but you know, I just I have to say that because people don't know that. So no, I I, I get it. Yeah. I don't have affiliates marketing. I don't have and neither do I. Yeah, good to mention. I've been taking. You know, there's there's two supplements. One's called Avmacol. I think Avmacol has around 3.5 milligrams of sulforaphane in each tablet. And the, the recommended dose on their bottle is two tablets. So that would be about seven mm-hmm. milligrams of sulforaphane. The other supplement is called Prostaphane. Prostaphane is unfortunately not available in the U.S. Well, I shouldn't, France, I shouldn't right? say that. Yeah, it's made in France. And because sulforaphane is so unstable, like the company just didn't want to deal with like the whole shipping it to another country and all that and dealing with all that, right? But you can buy it. Like I buy prostaphane. There's online pharmacies. You can have it shipped, shipped to you. Oh, or, really? Yeah. Like I'm having another shipment arrive me arriving tomorrow. Oh, so even you stopped with the broccoli well, so sprouts. Here's, here's the thing. Okay, let me answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> so um, each prostaphane tablet has around 10 milligrams of sulforaphane in it. There are trade-offs, you know, versus, you know, for doing broccoli sprouts versus supplements. I would say first and foremost... The supplements are expensive. The prostaphane is really expensive. They're expensive. And what are we talking like fifty fifty dollars a pack or something like ninety something dollars for a pack of sixty for prostaphane? It's it's quite expensive. But again, it has how many are you take in a day? One. It's, oh, it, so that's not it, that well, bad. It, Sixty day supply. We each one has ten milligrams in of sulforaphane, and I'll you know. To get to that dose, babe, maybe I should talk about some of the clinical. I mean, there's been some new clinical studies that have been really exciting in the past couple of years. Cool. Yeah, please do. But let me just finish with the sprouts. They're cheaper <laughs> and you get a ton of sulfur. So like for 100 grams of fresh sprouts, you use something around like 40 milligrams of sulforaphane, you know, can be bio, you know, basically you can get something around 40 milligrams of sulfur. sulfur. That's a lot, right? For a lot cheaper. Now, the trade-off is it's a pain you have to like work, right? You have to make them. I mean, they're not super, super hard, but there's a risk for contamination. They're very, they can easily be contaminated. And I've had them contaminated and it kind of gives you some, you know, it's it's not fun. So yeah. that's the risk. And there's all sorts of, you know, people say you should bleach the seeds first. And then and I don't personally feel comfortable bleaching the seeds. and do, I just don't want to like ingest anything that's, you know, had bleach on it. I've been doing the prostaphane for one simple reason. I'm a mom now and I'm also 
running family fitness and trying to do all this research and stuff and, and also trying to like exercise. And there's just, I just, there's too much, you know, there's just too much for me. So I found it easier for me to take the prostavine supplement. I would like to get back to the sprouts and I'm, I will probably mix that up again. But for now, I'm sort of taking the easy way. <laughs> That's good. You're too busy. Like seriously, my my fridge looked like a little mini farm. Like it was like farm up my fridge. It was like there was sprouts everywhere yeah. and yep. some of them were going bad. Yep. And like, it's yeah, just that like, was like oh me and God. I was freezing some of them and, and that yeah. was like, it was just, yeah. 